So what we're looking at today is integer subtraction and addition. So what we'll do is just review quickly uh, the difference between um, integers and regular um, natural numbers. Well, integers are written with a positive or negative sign in front of it. Um, and in fact, in convention, anything that has a number sign, uh, sorry, a, a positive sign in front of it can be ignored. Uh, so with a positive integer, say positive one, is really the same thing as one, whereas negative one, it is necessary to keep the negative in front of it. And you only really need brackets if you have two signs that are beside each other. So if we have positive three plus negative six minus positive four, I can see here, according to the first rule, anything that's positive, such as the positive 3 and the positive 4, they don't need a positive side in front of it. So I can replace these with just 3 plus minus 6 minus 4. And so this problem is a little bit easier to solve. So what we're looking at now is how to solve this kind of problem when you have two signs right in front of each other. Uh, and that's, how, that's now where we use the number line. So if you recall, the number line starts at 0. And now we have our increasing numbers, positive 1, positive 2, positive 3, positive 4. So we call this the positive side. And then on the left-hand side, we'll write all our negative numbers. As you notice, the negative sign is necessary in the negative integers, where in the positive ones, it doesn't need to be. So now if I go to our sheet, the way that we can look at this is by combining these signs and by rewriting what we what we can write. <clears throat> so on this first one, any positive integers, we can just remove the sign. So positive 4 plus positive 5 is the same thing as 4 plus 5. And we know that that equals 9. <clears throat> so notice our double signs here, that when we have a positive and a positive together, it means we are still adding. We are still moving to the right on our number line. <clears throat> the second example is negative 4 plus positive 5. Positive 5 we can just rewrite as plus 5. Then we go to, down to our number line and we can see that minus 4 plus 5 we are moving in the positive direction. So I start at minus 4, go up by 5. So minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1. 0, 1, I end up now at positive 1. In this case of double signs where I have a negative sign in the middle, I have to consider it a little bit different. What this means is I am facing to add, but I'm going backwards. So I'm facing to go forward. I'm facing forwards, but the second sign tells me move backwards. So really what that means in essence, is I'm just subtracting. I'm moving backwards. So positive 4 is the same as 4, plus minus 5 is the same as minus 5. So if I take my number line, 4, go down by 5, I now end up at negative 1. Same example here. Negative 4 doesn't change. A plus minus becomes minus, because I'm facing forward, but I'm walking backwards. So minus 4 going down by 5 brings me down to minus 9. If, for example, my first sign is negative, but the sign inside is positive, just like the rule above, a positive sign in front of an integer just drops. So this is positive 4, well, which is just 4, minus 5, go on, the, on our little thermometer, 4 minus 5 is minus 1, and minus 4 minus 5 is minus 9. So the same result occurs when I have a positive, negative, and then positive. The more difficult one is when I have negative and negative. What this means is I'm facing to the back, but I'm walking backwards. So if I'm facing to the back and walking backwards, it really means I'm walking forwards. So a minus and minus become a plus. So this is plus 4, minus minus 5 becomes plus 5. This becomes 9, and then minus 4, minus minus 5 becomes plus 5, and this becomes positive 1. So review these types, these movements, with positives and negatives to see which direction you're facing and which direction you're moving. I hope you understand integers.